Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And so in the previous couple of parts, we were trying this aggressive atmospheric braking maneuver at Mars. First time I messed it up and we burned up. Uh, the second time I messed up and we, um, we just, we hit the atmosphere so aggressively that we, we, our deceleration effort was very successful, but we want to hold on to enough acceleration that we can continue to orbit once the atmospheric braking maneuver is done. So we're, the recommendation of the person running those simulations was that we not do that method. And so we're gonna continue on with the easier to control, uh, slightly slower uh, method that we'll get into right now. So let me go ahead and switch camera views here. So I don't think uh, we really need to adjust the PEA this time. We'll just leave it like it was. Um, we can probably have, uh, let's bring a map just for fun. Let's change the display to orbit. And I think we still have, no, we don't have the spaceport targeted, uh, but we're more or less in plane with it. And I think we can also probably bring up base sync on this side. We can target Olympus. And um, although mm, actually we don't need to worry about that right now. So I think all we, let's bring up surface just to have that up. And all right, so we're going to continue forward and we're not going to try anything terribly aggressive this time. And we're getting close to the point where we need to start thinking. So rotation. go to rotation and we're gonna rotate over this way. And we're gonna to go to the prograde position. We're gonna point the nose at the, the velocity vector. All right, now we're just gonna warp time forward until we get to what is essentially entry interface for Mars, which I think is still about 120 kilometers, but we're gonna go just a tad bit lower than that. And then we're gonna turn on our APU. So right around here, and we can see our dynamic pressure starting. All right, so let's uh, APU, control A, and bring in the radiator, turn on yes. surface controls. And we'll probably go ahead and leave this display up for now, just so I can keep an eye on the temperature for the, at least the beginning part of this maneuver. And we'll throw out the air brake, just to create some more drag. And let's switch over to surface, just so I have my vertical speed information right there in front of me, a bit easier to see it. And so now the idea is we're just gonna stay more or less in this current um, orientation and we're going to pierce through the atmosphere uh, a little bit higher and we're just going to let the vessel just kind of drag through the atmosphere of Mars somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 kilometers maybe a bit more maybe um, as we get further in and slow down more we might be able to go a bit deeper um, and this this method doesn't take a super long time on Mars but again the you know when you roll the vessel and you pitch into the atmosphere it's just it's a huge break and it just goes really fast but i need to practice a bit before i'll be able to execute that comfortably and reliably i was definitely very good at it um you know six plus years ago when i was doing it all the time <laughs> All right, so our current altitude is uh, this number, so let's maybe pitch out a bit just to get the vertical speed under control. And we're actually a bit lower than I thought we were because I was looking at the 38,000 meters on the on the HUD as opposed to the 29 on the altitude up there and I'm not sure which one's more accurate. I think one of them is relative to like sea level basically and the other one is uh, like AGL above ground level so I'm guessing this one must be like above ground level 
and this must be sea level. But you can see, you know, our, our velocity is coming down. And this is just saving us from having to do any kind of breaking burn at Mars, which would cost us <clears throat> a lot of fuel that we don't have. Accidentally hit a button there, but luckily it didn't engage anything. Gotta be really careful with that. I've been very sloppy with hitting the wrong buttons since coming back and, uh, you know, experimenting with things again. I'm just gonna take a quick look outside just for fun. So we can kind of get a sense of what's happening. See our vertical speed is pretty well under control. Temperature's okay. Eccentricity's coming down, so we're almost captured by Mars. Let's pitch out just a little bit so that we don't dig too deep. Because we do want to be able to climb back out into space quickly when we're ready to do that. In fact, I'm feeling like I should probably go ahead and climb a little bit now. And now that we're captured, I think I might even roll over. So let me bring up my vertical speed a little bit into the positive. And just watching like my APA now. I'd rather do multiple passes of atmospheric braking than run the risk of decaying my orbit significantly because I can always, you know, I can always do multiple passes, but I can't. Uh, but if I decay my orbit, then I have to switch to fuel to bring it back up, and I don't want that. All right, I feel like we're pretty well under control here. APA is, you know, coming down. And temperatures are nice and cool, so we probably don't have to worry about temperatures anymore. I'm going to go ahead and roll over now. And... Go ahead and pitch the nose down, though, because I don't want to climb out yet. Now, one thing I do wish I had up here in front of me is, uh, like, my off-base distance, because while I'm doing this maneuver, you know, I might be throwing myself way, way off. Uh, I mean, we could actually almost land now, because I can see I'm 450 kilometers from Olympus, but I'm not going to risk it. We're just going to plan on this being our... Our orbit circularization maneuver. Let me go ahead and roll back over. Get the vertical speed down. And that might actually afford me a chance to bring up base sync and just kind of see how we are. Yeah, let's switch here, bring up base sync. And we have Olympus targeted and I don't know what any of this information is. Number of passes reference. Uh, I'm in some mode that I don't really want to be in. Mode. No, that's not what I want. Um, I'll worry about that later. Okay, so we are actually climbing out into space a bit more than I want, and it might, I might have, it might be so much now that I can't get back down. Let's uh, put in up elevator trim. Actually, no, I went the other way, don't I? Yeah, I think, I think I probably am going to end up going that so far back out now that I can't um, I won't be able to get back down but that's okay we'll do another pass and then on the second pass we'll look more at we'll look more at base sync on the next pass so yeah we're definitely we're definitely beyond 
the point now. So let's uh, take a look in here. Let's open the radiator again. Stow the brake. Zero out our elevator. Turn off surface controls. Turn off the APU. And now we're just going to have to do an orbit. And then on our next pass down through, yeah, we'll be at 32 kilometers on the next pass, so we'll still be able to do braking. Um, this isn't how I intended this to go, but, uh, you know, uh, I just suddenly remembered somebody called me the Bob Ross of Orbiter, so we'll consider it a happy accident. Okay, now let's uh, switch over here. So we're going to have to go a full round. So why is Base Sync not showing me what I'm used to seeing? Um, so let's see here. Cycles. Okay, that's, that's why. Because I had somehow pressed the E and C button apparently. All right, so currently if we orbit seven times, this will be our closest passage, which would be fine. But of course this isn't gonna be accurate because once we come back around and drag through the atmosphere, our orbit is gonna change significantly and thus all this is gonna be thrown off. But we'll, we'll at least use it next time we come around. So for now, there's nothing we can do but orbit around. So let's do that. And hopefully our orbital period isn't like massive. 20,000, what is that, a quarter of a day? So coming back around. All right, let's get ready to drag the atmosphere again. Let's go prograde, just to get into that orientation that we wanna be in. Come back to real time for a moment. Turn off the appropriate autopilot. Warp time forward a little bit more. And get back to entry interface. And we'll do this again. Okay, so we're basically entry interface. Control A for the APU. Bring back in the radiator. Deploy the air brake. Bring back in the radiator. Turn on surface controls. And we're in rotation, so we'll rotate over. And we're moving quite a bit slower this time, so we can, we should be able to dip even lower into the atmosphere if we want. But again, we want to keep it under control because if we dip too low, we'll bleed off a lot of velocity and we don't want to do that. So warp time forward, get down. So 75. And see how much time warp we can get away with. Mock 21. Let's go with that. All right, so we're definitely braking now. Um, I'm gonna go, go ahead and pitch out a little bit just to get the vertical speed closer to a number that I feel like I can easily control. But now I think we can get down to, you know, 30 kilometers without any real problem, but probably don't want to go too much lower than that because then our orbit will start to decay so fast that uh, we won't be able to roll over and get out before we've brought it down a lot. All right, I'm actually going to pitch way out because I really want to see that vertical speed near zero. Pretty good now on the vertical speed, I would say. Now we can probably just handle it with uh, trim. So this is backwards. So if I want elevator up, I have to trim in the upwards direction. If I want elevator down, I have to trim down. All 
Okay, you can see our eccentricity coming down, APA coming down. Information. APU pure 70%. Maybe a bit more elevator down. Bleeding off that airspeed. Yeah, this changes so fast that we can't really do anything about it, so I probably won't worry about our off base distance until we actually do our deorbit burn, and then we'll take care of our remaining off base distance with the uh, glide or cross range. Okay, so we're down to 2.9, so I think pretty soon we're going to need to roll over. Um, maybe even now. Let me zero out the trim. And yeah, actually, now that I'm now that I'm in this orientation, I can control my vertical speed a lot easier. And yeah, I think we probably should start climbing back out now because we're at 2.1 APA and it's rapidly going down. And maybe roll the vessel this way, maybe get one of them passages near zero. So we're climbing back out 100 meters a second, so that's a pretty good rate to be climbing back out. We're at 1.5 on our apoapsis, so if we really wanted to circularize our orbit, we could do that using main engine, and it shouldn't be too expensive by the time we climb out of this. Roll the vessel the other way, maybe bring down that off base distance. So that didn't help at all. Oh, actually, I should bring in the air brake. I can't remember the hotkey. APA 1.19. Mock 18. What is the air brake again? It is control B. So let me go ahead and throw that back out for now. Because we're pretty much, we've, we've got mm, pretty much all the braking that we're gonna get, or most of the way. So, so I'm just throwing the air brake out for now, just to get any last little bit of drag we can get. Started uh, started climbing out just a little bit too soon, but it, that was a pretty good pass. If we wanted to, we could go around again. I'm thinking probably not necessary. But we'll see how things pan out here in just a moment. All right, I think that's about as good as that's gonna get. Let me... Uh, throw the radiator back out. We're plenty cool. Bring the air brake back in. Put a time warp on those. Turn off the APU to save that. Switch back over to these views. And. Alright, let's go roll heads up. Alright. Let's pause. Uh, let me save this point and then pause. Switch over to the overlay. Okay, so I feel like that pretty well took care of our orbit circularization. It's not perfect by any means, but uh, we have some options. We can we can try to do the last little bit of correction with using main engine. Probably won't be terribly expensive to do that. We can go around for one more pass, although if we do that, we will have to bring up our PEA because right now we're on a... Actually, we probably wouldn't. We probably could just enter into the atmosphere with a bit of nose up, and that would pull. That would probably keep our cells from ever hitting the ground, I'm thinking. Uh, but anyway, we have a couple of options. I think we'll, we'll, we'll discuss those options in the next part.
Uh, so if you like this video, please do hit the like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next part.